Hello there friends, here is Paolo Castellano and I'm gonna show you some of the new features of IVS Edits. So let's select uh, all of our clips inside uh, our repository and uh, let's press the F button to add all the clips on timeline at the same time. Uh, so now I will show you the um, automatic trans uh, transition addition of IVS Edits. So let's select all the clips on timeline and let's press the right button and uh, let's select uh, apply transitions. We have two options. The first one is apply transitions moving the clips uh, that is designed for using IVS edits in um, full nonlinear mode and apply transition without moving the clips. This second option is designed for multi-camera editing because uh, you may have on um, on the side of each clip additional footage so you will have um, uh, the creation of the of the transition expanding moving the clips on the other tracks and uh, expanding the clips so let's see both uh, examples so uh, let's apply transitions moving the clips let's select the duration let's give one second save as predefined to have always the same duration without having to type uh, each time. Let's press OK. As you can see, the software moved uh, one clip out of two uh, on V2 and moved the, the clips uh, in order to create the, the transitions. If we uh, select the, the second uh, option, so let's make uh, undo let's zoom let's select again the clip uh, and now right button apply transition without moving the clips with this option IVS edits will make what I'm doing now so it will place the clips on some clips on V2 and we'll create we'll add some extra footage on both edges of the clips to create the transitions so as you can see uh, I will I take some it takes some time to create the transition one by one but now we have this option to create all the transition at the same time so let's select the clips right button apply transition without moving the clips and let's let's modify the duration of the transitions and let's click on ok as you can see IVS said it's created uh, some uh, transitions in some places the transition weren't added because there was no extra time in the clips so it was not possible to add uh, extra time to the clips and create the transitions another uh, cool uh, feature of uh, IVS edits is the um, remove gap on timeline so let's create some gaps to explain this feature so let's select this one and let's move on the right in the past uh, to move all the all the clips uh, back I was compelled to use uh, two ways the first one was to to use the group move G button on the keyboard or I, I was compelled to select all the clips on timeline and then moving them on the left now we have another option so if we right click on the on on a gap we can uh, uh, select uh, delete gap or remove gap 
or remove gap on a single track. If I select a uh, remove gap, uh, the software will uh, will close will move all the clips on both tracks. So let's make an example. Control C, Control V. Now let's move these clips here. If I select the first option, when uh, I will remove the, the gap, I just said it will move all the clips, bottom v, v1, v2, v3, etc. So let's make it remove gap and voila. I just said it's removed the gap and moved all the clips. If we uh, undo and select the, the second option, remove gap on a single track, I just said it will move just the, um, the clips that are on the on the on the track where we removed the gap. Okay, now let's see another cool feature of IBS edits. So uh, uh, we will move. Let's move the, this clip here. Let's remove the gap and uh, let's create some transitions. So let's remove the, the shorter clips. Let's select all, right click, apply transitions, moving the clips. One second. And now we have our AB roll montage. Now, um, what happens if I remove some clips into this AB roll editing? If I want to place a transition between the, these two clips, in the past I was compelled to make a cut and to position the clip on, uh, on the other track and to use the group move to create the transition. Now we have a much better option to make it. And uh, so let's see it. Let's undo it once again. Okay. Now I have the option to select a group of the clips and select the option uh, swap clips on V1, V2, and voila, the software, I just said it's made all the job for me, and now I can uh, close the gap to, and create again the transition. Another cool feature of IBS edits is the creation of the, of the new special markers. So, if we place some markers on timeline, okay. Now, if we right, if we double click on them, we got a new option. Uh, apply markers as chapter. So, if I select this checkbox, I can write the the name of the of the chapter. So, let's give the name. Paolo. Let's go on the second one. Castellano. Let's go on the third. Let's write Roberto. Let's go on the other one. Let's write in US edits. Let's go on the on the last and let's write last chapter. Okay, now if we uh, if we add um, um, on our montage the the purple movie bar, so right click, extend on uh, selected clips. When I will, um, I can export 
the, 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 the chapters in two different formats export uh, in generic uh, mode so export uh, chapters and export chapters for DVD styler let's select the first option let's give it a name so let's give it name test chapters let's click on save let's go um, browsing our our project so let's go on F IBS edits project Vesuvio media misc all the all the exported uh, uh, chapters will go into the misc uh, folder of the of the current project so let's let's open the the file test chapters uh, using uh, a, a notepad and uh, here we have the um, the file containing uh, our chapters we have the a progressive number one two three and then we have the uh, the time code and the description uh, several programs may may use this uh, file to automatically create chapters for DVD and Blu-ray authoring so uh, for this quick uh, guide is the end I hope to see you uh, on the next time for my next uh, video bye